How's it going guys, Chris here, and in today's guide we're going to be taking a look at the M28 con Tromboncino in Battlefield 5, a bot action carbine for the medic class introduced during Tides of War Chapter 3. So the Italian Tromboncino M28, aka the little trombone, was actually a modified Carcano M91 TS carbine, adjusted to allow a grenade launcher to be permanently attached to the right side of the gun's receiver. It was a really unique weapon for its time, developed in the late 1920s for the Italian military, with the goal of giving individual soldiers their own portable explosive lobby device, rather than having to rely on the less independent mortars, which would have needed to be set up and operated by a small crew from the distance. There were still limitations by this early technology, however, as the carbine and launcher couldn't be used at the same time, due to it using a shared bolt system, where, to use the launcher, the carbine's bolt would need to be removed first and installed directly into the device itself for operation, so you couldn't just simply switch between the carbine and the launcher quickly whenever you wanted to. It was this, along with the fact that it cost a lot to produce, was generally pretty bulky and heavy, and lob grenades that were pretty ineffective overall, that cost the weapon its future, being withdrawn from service in 1934, with the existing carbines being converted to their original non-grenade throwing configuration. The Italians went back to using more conventional and destructive mortars, with the Brixia Model 35 essentially replacing the Tromboncino as an explosive throwing device, though the M28 still would have been used in very limited numbers during World War II. But by this point, those unique grenades that the gun fired would have been very hard to come by. Anyway, in Battlefield 5, the M28 Tromboncino acts in a similar way to the other Medic bolt action carbines, with its own damage model to set itself apart. It's got a bit more in common with the Jungle Carbine, having the same damage figures but a different drop off rate, with the M28 dealing the same 56 damage maximum, which starts to drop off a little bit earlier at 50 meters, eventually reducing over distance till your bullet reaches the 100 meter mark, where it'll now deal that minimum damage of 40. So in a way, it pretty much acts like a Jungle Carbine with reduced range, being able to kill in two body shots, or one headshot, up to 75 meters, but then requiring an extra bullet from this point to finish your opponent off unlike the Jungle Carbine, which can retain that two-hit kill power for an extra 25 meters more. Despite this though, the M28 is still pretty strong, beating the Commando Carbine for power over distance, while sacrificing a bit of its range for a higher fire rate than the Jungle Carbine, sort of putting it in the middle of the two weapons, as far as overall power and speed is concerned. The M28 fires at a fairly decent rate of 87 RPM, though can be bumped up to 105 RPM with the Machine Bolt spec which is only marginally slower than the Commando Carbine with its machine bolt applied to, giving the M28 a pretty nice balance of stats to enhance its effectiveness for mid-range use. With a vertical kick reading of 2 degrees and base horizontal values of 0, the only direction the gun's recoil is going to move in is upwards, which is standard for these kind of weapons, just like the semi-auto rifles and SLRs, and just like in a previous section, the M28 is, once again, kind of in the middle of the two other carbines, regarding its recoil pattern, having lower kick than the Jungle Carbine, but higher than the Commando. There's no way to really alter this recoil pattern through specialisations, just like with the other bolt action carbines, though also like the others, you'll be granted the ability to cycle the bolt while staying scoped in, giving you a little bit of an advantage over the bolt action rifles, thus making it more competitive within those earlier ranges, by allowing you to stay on target in between shots, leading to quicker takedowns. This allows the Tromboncino to excel over medium ranges, having an edge over snipers with those quicker two-hit kill times, with kick that can be quite easy to control here, though you might still need to pace your shots out a bit if your target's quite far away in the distance, just to keep that recoil at bay. The M28's definitely usable over longer ranges, though it doesn't exactly work at its best here, with its bullet speed of 500 meters per second being beaten by other weapons better suited for said ranges and with it not having access to the high velocity bullet specialisation either, like the Jungle Carbine does. As far as reliability goes, the M28 Tromboncino's got the lowest ammo capacity of the three bolt action carbines, only holding a total of six rounds at a time, allowing it to take down to three players within shorter sightlines, or two players over a long range, when those bullets smack your opponent in the body that is. Thankfully though, the gun is going to make up for this shortcoming by giving you some fairly nippy, consistent reloads, as with it using M block clips, it's going to take the same time for both tactical and empties, only lasting 2.8 seconds, which isn't really all that bad. This should help to keep you engaged in the fight within those earlier, more offensive ranges, and should you want to cut those reloads down even further, 
Well, you could always apply the quick reload spec to do so, dropping it down to just 2.38 seconds overall, even beating the Commando Carbine's magazine swaps. With the M28 Trombone Sino being a unique weapon for the game, I guess we should probably address the elephant in the room, that the gun does have that side-mounted grenade launcher too, basically gifting you with an extra attachment without any cost, with it acting in a similar way to the AT grenade pistol in the way it performs some functions. Probably not the most useful thing in the world, though it still gives you a nice little bonus that the other carbines don't. Possibly handy for blowing up some cover that a wounded enemy is hiding behind, or assisting a teammate take on those light vehicles. So, looking at the specialisations now, we've got both the quick aim and slings and swivel specs at the top, speeding up ADS times or increasing deployment speeds. I tend to prefer using quick aim here, just to get a slight edge in a gunfight, which does go pretty well when using the scope though either of these two should prove to be useful. In the middle section, you'll be able to find quick reload and enhanced grips on the left side, making reloads 15% faster while slightly tightening up the hipfire spread, though on the right, the custom and lightened stocks, reducing spread while aiming and moving, while also letting you move around quicker while aiming down those sights too. This one mainly comes down to personal preference, and whether or not you tend to strafe around a lot to get on target. The reloads are already fairly quick as they are, Though because the gun only does hold 6 rounds max, you will be finding yourself reloading a hell of a lot as you play, so for that reason, I tend to prefer going down the left side, just to give them a slight reduction. And at the bottom of the pile, you'll be able to find the machine bolt, which boosts fire rate up to 105 RPM, or the improved grenades, which basically alters the projectiles thrown by that side mounted launcher, reducing their blast radius, but increasing impact damage, which is more beneficial against vehicles. This is a pretty subjective one, as it mainly depends on how often you like taking on vehicles, as the improved grenades might be more useful on vehicle busy maps and modes, and definitely are going to help you to assist teammates take down light armour on those maps. Though as a general choice that's less situational, I'd normally opt for the machine bolt to reduce kill times, and make it a bit more competitive in gunfights. In conclusion, the M28 Tromboncino is a pretty interesting weapon for the game, not only being a bolt action carbine for the medic class, but one with the ability to be a bit more destructive, essentially giving the medic class an explosive gadget that isn't normally accessible to them. Most of the time, you aren't going to be using that grenade launcher though, but the gun itself is still a decent middle ground option with a bunch of well balanced stats, basically acting like a blend between the two other bolt action carbines, having more range than the commando carbine with a slower fire rate, but less range than the jungle carbine with a faster fire rate, also having its recoil set somewhere in the middle of the two as well. These stats all come together to make the M28 an effective mid-range weapon, but one that might struggle a bit within shorter sightlines against deadlier guns, and struggle over those longer ranges too, against the higher powered snipers with faster bullet speeds. Having a clip size of only 6 rounds does hinder the gun's ability to take on several enemies one after the other, and this might further limit the gun's effectiveness for aggressive play forcing you to be a bit more careful when pushing forwards and getting yourself surrounded. Though this is sort of offset by the M28 having some quick and consistent reloads, and providing you stay aware of your surroundings and keep the gun's limitations in mind, the Tromboncino can function as a good all rounder type weapon for the bot action carbines, generally performing at its best over those early mid ranges. So that's it for another one folks, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the guide and found it useful, and subscribe for more Battlefield content and other stuff coming up pretty soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next one.